Yes, I said it. This is the worst patch update I have ever experienced in Star Citizen's 10 year long history. I was there for the 0.9 release of Arena Commander. I was there for the first launch of the Persistent Universe with 2.0 and the very rocky release of the 3.0 patch. And I still argue this is the worst. Players have not had access to their accounts to even log in for a week plus. This is the largest downtime I've seen for myself since I started playing the game. But there's so much more to this story, so let's dive into it. While this is the worst launch of a patch I've ever experienced, this is also the most important update Star Citizen has ever had up to this point. The introduction of Persistence has single-handedly changed so many aspects of the game on its own. Coming to a location and finding the wrecks, boxes with loot, and bodies telling the story of what may have happened at the location is incredibly cool. There are a number of other updates, like the addition of a new profession, hull stripping, which is the entry-level salvage gameplay, a major overhaul to the law system with Security Post Korea becoming a hotspot to clear your crime stat and other gameplay, and a number of changes to the prisons to make your stay a little bit more interesting. And they even added a very robust racing system with more planned in the future with a big racing dynamic event. The issue here is, if you were one of the lucky golden ticket holders that was able to get into the game, you probably didn't have a very good experience with it at all, and including all the features we just talked about here. Why is that? The PTU experience had its bugs, but it wasn't this bad. I think Jared has some insight into this one. Now, stability has been steadily returning all week, with more and more people being able to connect in and stay in for longer durations after that. And there's been a number of absolutely critical fixes that only became known and necessary thanks to you all showing up and stressing the ever-loving hell out of the new Entity Streaming Foundation for the Persistent Universe in ways that, frankly, we never could on the PTU. My takeaway from this is that they pushed the patch live knowing it wasn't ready. And they also knew that some of the issues we were encountering were going to happen, but they didn't care. Now, I bet you expect me to go on some sort of rant about why they shouldn't do that, but I'm going to do the exact opposite. They had to do this. The only way to get the number of people into the game testing is with the incentive of all of us thinking that this patch was the live patch. If it all went reasonably well, CIG looks normal with a buggy patch and everything is fine, but if things fall apart, they look really bad in the short term, like they do now, but in the long term, their wins stand to be really high here. If they're able to take the data we provide them, they could be much better prepared for the launch of patches like 4.0 and beyond, when things really start to, you know, matter. CIG went on the record saying that way more players were looking to play on release weekend than they anticipated. Well, I can only imagine what a pyro and server meshing release patch would look like. Was the soft launch of 3.18 disingenuous and done with some sort of malice? I don't think so. I think the live servers are still a testing environment and the game barely exists. If the only way to get the proper data is to release a messy patch to the live servers, then that's what they need to do. The idea of the features in 3.18 are exciting, but they're also only in their infancy. None of this matters in the long run, outside of the valuable information CIG is gathering to make the experience better for us in the future. With that said, I think CIG has to recognize the absolute win that all this is. You have a ton of players that are excited to play your game, even in the state that it's currently in. And because of that, while this messy release seems necessary, future updates have to learn from this one. The potential they have to gain more players interested in playing Star Citizen on a more regular basis really starts with this 3.18 release and the next few hereafter. You simply cannot get it wrong like this again. And on top of that, I think it also shares the value of what a really large patch with a number of interesting features can bring. We played 3.17 for a very long time, and the anticipation for something entirely new was too difficult for many people interested in the game to pass up. 3.19, while smaller, still feels like a really exciting patch as well, and with the discussion around things like crafting, engineering, and a lot more polish from Squadron 42 features towards the end of the year, I don't expect the hype to die down very much. So that is how I feel about 3.18. 
This is by far the worst experience I've ever seen for a patch release. Yes, even worse than 3.0, because I actually have something in the game that I want to enjoy doing, and I can't. Before, we used to just pretend and talk about what we could do one day. Now we are actually doing those things. But CIG has to learn from their mistakes here. There's far too much riding on the next few releases leading up to Pyro to basically lock a large portion of their player base out of the game or just have the game in a barely playable state. While pushing this out too early, in my opinion, was the right choice, it is not an experience we, the players, should have to endure again. And those were my thoughts on the 3.18 release. What were your experiences? Should they have let the patch cook a little bit longer? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. Also, if you enjoyed the video, take some time to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.